begin the process of converting these HTML pages into a PDF, open up our web index and select one of the web files for conversion. Here I'm selecting revising with a word processor. Now the first thing you want to do is to make sure that you're using Mozilla Firefox. There are a few of these techniques or moves that you're going to make that cannot be made with Internet Explorer to my knowledge. So therefore be sure that you have downloaded and installed a copy of the latest Mozilla Firefox browser. Once that is installed, the first thing you want to do is to take this image right here, the top banner. So right click and then pull down to copy image. That places the image on your clipboard. Now the next program you'll need is a copy of Microsoft Word. Open up a blank Microsoft Word document and draw a text box for that banner at the top of the page. This will allow us to move it around without applying text wrapping. Paste that image that you just copied to your clipboard into the text box and then move that text box until you have it centered at the top of the page. The next thing you want to do is to take off the text box outline. So you go to text box formatting and then under shape outline click on no outline. Okay, we've got our banner in there. Let's go back to our HTML page now. Now let's highlight and copy the text portion of the HTML page. Go back to our Word document and simply paste in that text. Now we're set on our Microsoft Word document and we're going to save it as a PDF using the Microsoft Word command save as PDF. So we'll save it to our desktop and we'll minimize the Microsoft Word screen. Now the first time that you open this PDF, open it in your newly installed Acrobat program and here is the PDF that you just created opened in Acrobat not Adobe Reader but Acrobat and the next thing we're going to do is to go back to our Word document and make sure we have the full and complete URL of that video okay back on our Adobe Acrobat we go up to the video tool click and come down and draw a video box wherever we want it in the PDF document. Once that video box is drawn, a dialog box will pop up and you see that the first thing you do is to insert the URL of that video. What you want to do now is to delete HTML and type in MP4. That's the actual file that we'll be playing. You saw it jump around as it connected to that URL. Click on Advanced Options. The next thing we want to do is to get our image that will display before the video shows. So let's go back to our HTML document. Right click. Unfortunately, because of the positioning, I uh, was unable to show you the actual command. The actual command there was save image. So right click on the image in the HTML document, pull down to save image, and then save that image to your desktop. Okay, let's go back to our Adobe PDF. We click on create poster from file. We click on browse, and now we select the image that we just saved to our desktop from our HTML document. Let's go to controls. I, I use at this point out, I use all of the defaults for the uh, control setting and the video setting. So just click OK. And there the image is now displayed. And that is the image, that's not the video. To resize that image, go up to your arrow selection tool and click on any of the uh, sizing tools around the image. It really doesn't matter how you resize the image, the video is going to play in the dimensions that you have selected. The image is just there as a placeholder. So after you have resized the image to however you want it, 
go ahead and save this PDF. Just resave it with a normal Control S save. And this time, we want to open up that same PDF in Adobe Reader to make sure that everything looks okay and that our video plays. So here we're opening it in Adobe Reader. Okay, let's scroll down to our video and see how that works. Place our cursor on it, left click, and the video should start playing in the PDF file. There's the opening screen and now the video is playing. The bottom of it is being cut off because of the recording window that I have. Okay, there you go. The video is now playing and you have successfully converted HTML to PDF and we're all set. There are two variations that I want to alert you to. The first variation has to do when you encounter a flash player instead of an image. For example, here in the literature review, there is a flash player for the video instead of an image. As you can see, right-clicking on it gives you only flash settings. It does not allow you to save an image. In a case like this, you will need some screen capture software. I use Snagit from TechSmith. There's also free screen capture software out there. King Kong Capture is a very common one. But basically, you use it to capture that specific image and then save it to your hard drive. You can format it a little bit in most of those programs, and then you simply save it to your hard drive and then pick it up in the same way that you pick up any other image to insert it into that PDF, as we saw earlier. A second variation has to do with any videos that have not yet been converted from YouTube to Flash Player on the UMUC server. For example, here's the brief guide to citing sources in Chicago. This has a YouTube video in it. When that happens, just alert me that that one hasn't been converted yet. I'm still working on them and I will go ahead and convert it for you so that you can complete your conversion.